Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spark channel. Friends, in our last couple of videos, like four to five videos, we have learned lots of things which are very basic but important. From this video onwards, we are going to start the actual policy creation. So how we can configure that? So that question I'll answer in this video. This will be a very short video which will cover policy creation. So without further ado, let's get started. But before that, one small intro video. Welcome back guys. Now very first, launch your EPO console and log in with your admin credential. Once you logged in, you directly navigate to system tree and as you could see, if I go to the assigned policies under DLP, then I have default policy applied, which is DLP policy and policy name is my default DLP policy. If I open this policy, then I believe this policy will be empty from inside. As you can see, there is no rule set configured. So this is the things we have to do in this video. So to configure the policy, what you, you will have to do basically, just directly go to the policy catalog expand the dlp policy which is available under data loss prevention and here are the some default policy which is already exist the first one is telex default that is just a read only and we can't edit this one and if i nav navigate to the second one which is my default dlp policy then uh, we just saw that it's already empty from inside so personally i always prefer to rename the default one which is applied to my organization and i always prefer not to do or not to create multiple policy because the number of policy which we are going to create it will increase unnecessary rule in our database and that will be permanent because we can't delete once the policy is created let me show you for an example uh, right now i am in uh, policy catalog right so if i go to the dlp help desk tool then as you could see whenever you want to bypass uninstall or uh, you know release any file from the quarantine you will always have to select your dlp policy which is applied to your machine and currently it's showing only one entry that is our default policy let me go to here now if i can go to create a new policy here let me show you by creating one new policy here just simply click on new policy and let's give a name like technical spark dlp policy uh, let me put some notes here okay so i have given some description and let's click on okay okay so my policy has been created but this is again empty from inside now let me close this as you could see i got total three policy and the below middle one is the latest one and earlier i shown you right why i always suggest to not to create multiple policy let me show you let me delete this my default dlp policy rules if i directly uh, trying to delete this my dlp policy from here delete okay policy it has been deleted now now we have only two policy present one is telex default and another is technical spark dlp policy so whatever the rules we are going to create and for the data protection device control or device discovery that will be inside this policy and after that we are going to test the policy now let me simply go, uh, go to the system tree and we'll assign the new policy which we have created because earlier it was my default uh, dlp policy it was applied here and as soon as we delete it got replaced with Telex default that is just read only so let me change the assignment for my organization edit assignment and then break in iterance and we'll apply technical spark dlp policy applied successfully let's test this policy in our one of the client machine whether it is getting applied or not but before that let me show you what is the revision id then revision id number is one let's close this and jump to the our client machine this is my client machine agent status monitor and then our dlp console about so currently my default dlp policy is applied which was our earlier one which we have already been deleted let me try to check for new policy enforce policy let's do it two to three times okay perfect my new policy has been assigned to this machine with a revision id now number one which means the policy which we have created is working properly but it won't do anything right now because per rule not configured inside that policy now let's go back to our EPO server okay guys 
so this policy has been applied to this machine which is t1 now as i shown you earlier that we have deleted one policy and i uh, uh, recommended before that not to create multiple policy because earlier uh, we were able to you know rename the existing policy which was default dlp policy but just for the your demonstration i have created fresh policy and deleted existing now let me show you the reason if i go to the menu and again help desk now if i click on this particular option you would see that technical spark dlp policy is available which is still exist in my policy catalog right but my default dlp policy this policy we have already deleted but it's still present in this help desk tool and it cannot be deleted guys so that's the reason don't mess with policy otherwise for testing purpose if you create 10 15 rules 20 rules and you if you keep on deleting right then you will see the list of uh, policy here it could be a 10 20 50 100 is completely depend on on you and if you exceed the number of policy then what will happen every time you wanted to bypass a release from quarantine or uninstall daily from any of the machine you will have to come here and select your actual policy which is applied to that machine so that is always irritating work and then again you will have to enter your revision number and blah 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 so try not to create many policy okay just stick with one or two three four five but not more than that if your organization is very big and it demands you would require 10 50 policy then only create those and if in case you require for the testing purpose as well then for testing purpose you can create one single policy and always modify your changes inside that policy okay so i believe now you have understood how you can configure the fresh policy under policy catalog which will be applied using your assigned policies so when we modify from here uh, you just select by selecting any group it will be applied to all the system which is available inside that group but as you could see this is my primary group and there are subgroup available inside this which is work, uh, workstation lost and found so this particular dl technical spark dlp policy is applied to all group but yeah you can also directly select any of the group click on edit assignment and then break in entrance and then select whatever the policy you want to apply it will break the inheritance and you can apply different policy to this particular uh, group as well as if you want to assign policy for any of the uh, specific machine okay and you don't want whatever the policy applied from the uh, assigned policies for this particular group and keep that uh, particular system with a different policy then that is also possible so you will have to select that machine then action agent edit policy on single systems and from here you can make the changes by clicking on edit assignment break in address and select different one as you could see the machine my machine name is t1 so this particular rule is going to be applied on t1 machine only not the all machine which is available here because we are modifying policy on single machine right now i'm not doing this but yeah this is just for your demonstration purpose so friends now hopefully you have understood how you can create fresh policy and apply to a group as well as individual machine and why there is a recommendation for not creating multiple policy just keep your epo server clean so guys that's it in this video this is sohan signing out and in next video we are going to see data protection policy where i'll be demonstrating on the complete policy configuration as well as testing so make sure the going further video you won't miss and if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please do subscribe and click on the bell icon so that whenever i'll post a friend new video you will be very first to notify because you will receive the notification on your youtube application as well as over the email there is lots of videos for dlp i'm going to post in my youtube channel this is just a beginning guys so far we have only covered e policy orchestrator train micro deep security but there's a lots of things we are i'm going to teach you in which i am expert so friends it's too late now so let me end this video and from next video onwards we are going to learn things very thoroughly so that's it for now this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next amazing video till then bye bye happy learning